This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're working with the Keurig coffee maker that has a bad LCD screen that we can't read as we see here. You can't see really uh, where the strong button is and where the, the different buttons are. So we're going to unplug it. We're going to remove the water tank by just pulling it off to the side. We remove this little drain part in the front. We open up the top. We flip it over on its top and we remove two Phillips head screws. It's actually a pretty easy procedure. So regular Phillips head screwdriver, pop those two screws out, and once you loosen them, you just flip it back over. They'll just fall out, that's okay. Just gotta make sure you put them back later. The screws fall out, and now there's some clips that we have to undo to open up the kit. But first we'll pull off this little panel that was held on by the Phillips head screws. So we're just going to lift it up, pull it out, and then we can, we can split the case here at the top. And we can, if we see carefully, we have these little tabs. We just got to pry up with like a screwdriver or a, I used an, a, just a butter knife. So there's uh, five of them, one in the front and two on each side. We pry them up, and that allows us to split the case open. And then we'll be able to see this little modular connector that gets loose. And here we are just going in there and pressing down on this little white modular connector. My arm, mine was just slightly loose. I just pushed it down firmly We'll get a better look at it here in a second. It's really small. Just reach back with your index finger, push down on it, it'll reseat it. And now it'll make good electrical connection. And then we're just gonna close up the case and we're gonna push those clips back into position. And we'll close the top and we'll put that um, plastic plate back in. We'll slide it on. And then once you slide it on, you want to push down pretty strong in the front so it clicks into position. You just put in those two Phillips head screws. And you can test it to make sure that your screen's working again. But it, I guess it's pretty common that that connector works loose. So we got our plate back into position. We snapped it in. And now we'll plug it back in, give it a test. So we've got a little power light, that looks good. We'll turn that on, the display's back to normal. And you can finally figure out what you're doing with your coffee maker, instead of having to memorize where the buttons were. <laughs> They're just testing it a little bit more, and everything looks great. You can make coffee, be a happy camper again. So thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe to the channel when you get a chance. Thank you.